What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of Ryuk from Death Note. Let's begin today's lesson by adding some guidelines to help with the symmetry of our drawing. Let's start by adding a line coming down the center of our page. We're gonna start from the very top. It's gonna lightly work our way down the center towards the bottom. Let's add another line going across from left to right. So starting from the middle of our page, go out toward the left, and then the right side. Now you use these two lines to help us create a circle in the center of our page. So from the center point, let's step up, mark off the top of our circle. Let's take that same distance from the center and do the same thing across the bottom. Now we're going to repeat that across this horizontal line. So measuring that distance from the center over toward the left and then the right side. Now I want to connect the center point of each mark with a curve to create our circle. Let's start with the top left and the circle doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get the right size and placement in the center of our page. And the more we practice this method, the easier it'll be. Let's add another line coming down the side of our circle. So we'll start with the bottom left, coming down, and then the right, and we'll extend it all the way up towards the top. Let's add another line going across the top and bottom of our circle. Now with our circle and guidelines in place, let's start blocking in the main features of the face. We're going to start by locating the center of the eyes. So halfway between that center line and the left side, I'm just going to mark this off with a short line. And we'll do the same thing on the right. From that center point, we're going to sketch a circle going up. So going up on the left and then back down. Let's draw that same size circle on the right, going from that center point and going all the way around. From the top of the eyes, let's bend the brow going out and then up towards the side. And then from the inside, bend this in and then up just along the side of that center line. Let's add a smaller circle in the center for the pupils. And then from this center point, we're just going to angle the nose coming down and out toward the left and right. Close off the bottom to create a triangle. Now from the bottom edge of the nose, we're going to step down, draw another line going all the way across from left to right for the mouth. From these two points, let's angle the mouth, coming down and then in toward that bottom line. Let's come straight down with a short line towards the bottom of the mouth, and we'll close this off. Now from the bottom of the mouth, we just want to locate the chin. So right about here, draw another line going all the way across. And then from the jawline, angle this coming down and then in towards the bottom. Now let's go back to the center of our circle and angle the hairline going up and then out towards the left and right side. Let's add the basic shape of the ears. From the edge of the brow, draw a straight line going out. Come down the side with a short line. And we'll angle this back down and then in towards the side of the head. Now let's create some volume for the hair. We're going to start on top of the ears, angle this up and then out with a straight line. And then from the outside, I'm just going to bend this up and then in toward that center line along the top. Let's go back to the base of the ears, angle the neck coming down and then out towards the side. Let's go back up and curve the edge of the neck going all the way around and then back in. Now I want to bring this down and in toward that center line. Coming down and then in towards the middle. Let's move to the side of the ear. Let's bend the shoulders going up and then out. Now that we have a rough sketch, I want to go back and clean up our drawing by erasing these guidelines. And now we're going to use this rough sketch as a guide to help us add some more detail and refine the shape. Let's start with the eyes. We start with the inside edge of the brow. It's going to come down and then up along the inside. It's going to overlap the brow on top of the eyes and work our way out towards the side of the head. It's going to add some thickness to the brow along the top. Adding another fold in between. And 
and just working our way around the eyes. Now I'm just gonna use that triangle as a guide to help add the nostrils along the side. And then working our way out from the eyes, just adding some wrinkles and folds. I'm just gonna bump out the cheekbones and then coming down and in on the edge of the mouth. Make our chin a little bit lower. Go back and just layer the jaws in underneath. Now along the right ear, we're just gonna add that earring. So starting with some lines coming down and roughen that heart along the bottom. Now we can use that guide that we created along the top of the head as a guide to help us add these points going up and then out. And we're just adding some texture along the inside as we go. So just pulling these in. Now along the top it's going to go straight up and then round up the sides. Also adding some points across the shoulders and just blending that out towards the side of our page. Now we're gonna go back and just clean up our drawing before we add some more detail and shading. And now we're gonna go in and start adding some detail and refining the shape. So I'm gonna start with the eyes, just adding some more folds and wrinkles as we go. And then just working our way across towards the outside of the brow. Working our way around the nose. Again, just adding some more layers and texture as we go. So we're just using the underlying sketch as a guide. And I always find it best to stay loose during this stage. Not getting too caught up with all the little details and the perfect lines. And I'm just using these short lines to create our sketch. Just gonna add some thickness to the upper lip. I'm just gonna fade that out in towards the center to create a little bit of a highlight. So I wanna darken up the outside of the lip and then fade that in. Now I'm just gonna add some fangs inside, starting from the left, just adding these points coming in towards the middle. Give it a slight bend out towards the right.
and now just adding a little bit more hair texture along the side. So just angling these curves going up and then out, all the way up towards the top of the hairline. And then going back to the center and going up. It's just layering the texture of the hair going all the way across. I'm just gonna add a simple chain going down towards the bottom. And I'll just roughen that hard charm. Now I'm just gonna roughen those little hooks going across the base of the neck. Just adding these guides first. And then we'll go back and just add some thickness. And we wanna plug these into the skin. So we're just going to round up the ends and we'll come back and add some more detail after. adding a little bit more texture along the inside, just pulling these lines going up from the bottom and then down from the top. Just leaving a little bit of a gap in between and this will help us create a highlight later. Now once we're finished with the initial sketch, I'm going to start adding some shadows. We're gonna place the light from the top coming down across our character so the highlights will sit along the top with the shadows along the bottom edge. So let's start with the bottom edge of the brow. I'm just gonna darken this up and then fade that up across the top. So the shadows are along the bottom. And also this brow is gonna cast a shadow just underneath. So I'm gonna go around the eye, just darkening that up and then blending that down. Also going across the center of the brow. I'm gonna add a shadow across the front of the nose along the bottom, and then fade that up towards the highlight. Now the head's gonna cast a shadow across the top of the neck. So let's darken that up along the top and then just fade that down. And we're gonna go a little bit darker along the folds. Now these staples are gonna create a little bit of tension across the neck. I'm just going to shade in these lines going up and then in, just aiming towards the center of the head. Also from the shoulders going up and then out. Now with the hair, we're just going to darken up the inside edge going around the hairline. and just pulling the shadows going up and out. Also adding a little bit more volume and texture as we go. I'm just going to bend this up in the middle. Now it's okay to leave some gaps in between. So create a little bit of texture and highlight along the hair. And we're gonna do the same thing across the outside of the hair. So pulling this down and then in. So we create this little highlight edge in the center.
Now as we get closer to the end, I'm just gonna finish off my drawing by adding a little bit more detail and texture and always be sure to sign my artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Ryuk from Death Note. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. I wanna thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Hey everyone, if you really want to discover your artistic potential, then join our Club Masterclass membership. For just $1 a month, you'll gain instant access to exclusive members-only drawing tutorials, virtual art camps, and much, much more. Join our thriving community of passionate artists just like you and let your creativity soar. So just click that link in the description and I'll see you in the club.